Hello, everyone, and welcome to Art's Legacy Remix. I'm Fred Johnson, and we are really, really honored here, the Art's Legacy team, to welcome you to another edition of Art's Legacy. And last time we had such a great response for our first online Art's Legacy that we said, hey, we should do this again. So we're back and better than ever. And really excited to share with you an amazing collection of artists from around the Tampa Bay area. Our title, Threads of Cultural Beauty, is really just that. Um, a, a tapestry of artists, uh, spoken word, poetry, dance, and music that really helps to exemplify and celebrate what we're all about here at the Strass Center and with Arts Legacy. All of the beauty that can be uh, realized through uh, celebrating the great talent here. So sit back and enjoy yourself and welcome to another edition of Arts Legacy Remix. We are honored to have as our first thread in this tapestry of beauty, the Serbian Pearl, a folklore dance company. Uh, they were founded in 1982. They are housed here in uh, St. Petersburg, Florida, and they've been lauded as one of the finest Serbian folklore groups in Southern America. They are award-winning, comprised of three groups of over 57 dancers that range from age four to 17. So please sit back and enjoy the Serbian Pearl Dance Company. also known by her stage name, Miss Dian Dian, does many things. She's an international speaker, singer, storyteller, and story coach. She specializes in helping people discover, craft, and leverage their stories for deeper and lasting connections with others. Her piece tonight is called Catch and Release, a note to her perspective on the state of the heart, mind, and spirit. Usually my heart was wide open and ready to receive all the love the world had to offer, all the love the world had to give. But my heart had been under attack and I didn't know what to do. It's hard to stay wide open when you're not sure what might happen to you. I felt frozen with fear and uncertainty. Who knows what the future may hold? Negativity kept coming in waves and waves. My poor heart was turning to stone. And I didn't like who I was when that happened. I wasn't fun to be around. I felt guilty for inflicting my frustrations as my love train was just shutting down. So recently I was clicking through TV channels, looking for distraction. Came across this show that was about fishing, not my idea of action. But they talked about catch and release to protect the fish population, where fish are caught and for various reasons thrown back in the water again. I imagine fish would be relieved to get back to their familiar world, but gripped with the fear of being yanked out again. Terrifying, I'm sure. I identified with those fish. Who knew when the new hook would come? I knew I needed to start a daily ritual that would protect me from that storm. I like the term catch and release. 
it seemed like something I could use as a framework, an anchor to provide some protection for my heart that was turning blue. So I now ask myself every day, what did I catch that was good for me? I acknowledge situations and people helping me be the best I can be. I start every morning taking time to deeply breathe and acknowledge the sun, bow down to nature in all its glory be. I catch good love, good times, good food, good people that help me grow. I catch more good fills my heart so it's open and overflows. Then I release more joy and understanding that results in kindness to others. With no expectation of reward, I pray goodwill passes through borders. Negative things continue to happen and I'll continue to catch those too. Release them quickly before they expand. I choose to focus on the good. So ask yourself every day, what did I catch and release that is good? So your heart can stay open, fill with light, and spread love, just like you should. Hi everyone, my name is Giovanna Perez Oliveras, and I'm a visual artist residing in the Tampa Bay area. Today I'm sharing with you an original watercolor piece titled Carnaval, inspired by our theme, Threads of Cultural Beauty. Now Carnaval has been part of Puerto Rican culture dating as far back as the 19th century. This is a day of festivities in which multitudes of people invade the streets and fill it with music, dance, and color. Now this specific piece is my interpretation of Carnaval, as well as the many other aspects of Puerto Rico that I love, including the views, the colors, the signs of the Tainos, and much, much more. So I hope you enjoy it, and without further ado, let's get started. Next is visual artist Maria Ortiz Haynes. Maria is originally from Patterson, New Jersey, but is currently residing right here in Tampa's Ybor City. She's a self-taught mosaic artist that has exhibited her artwork in many locations, including Ruth Edgar Hall, Glacier Children's Museum, the Morian Art Center, along with many, many others. Her artwork is actually inspired by a trip she had to Cuba back in 2013. She was inspired by all the bright and vibrant colors she saw in the artwork and continues to use this in her current technique with mosaics. So without further ado, enjoy.
artist is local poet Brandy German, a fourth grade teacher married for 17 years to her husband who is a police officer. Together they have two teenage boys, 16 and 13 years old. Brandy has her master's in creative writing from St. Leo University. And she says writing is the way she is able to express joy and grief and sees writing as an amazing art that anyone can use to heal from life experiences and trauma. With each piece that Brandy writes, she is giving us a snapshot into a moment of her own life. Brandy's words inspired a few of our own Arts Legacy team members to take it a step further and create an original musical and movement piece that will follow her poetry reading. It is my honor to introduce my friend, Brandy German. My America is like, my America is like 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. Sometimes it has that early morning glow and sometimes it gets darker by the moment. My America is dreams piercing through horizons and sometimes dreams sinking under dark clouds. It's gleaming for some and then it's dim for others. My America, it droughts and it waterfalls. My America's dreams fulfilled, dreams deferred, and sometimes dreams just null and void. My America is paving a way, and for some, just making a way. My America is seeking to understand, it's building futures, it's tearing down walls. My America is vast. Vast as the emotions that run through the souls of the people and vast as every skin tone too. My America is ever changing. It's ever growing. It's shimmering red, white, and blue with melanin mixed in too. That's what my America is like. My America is like 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. Sometimes it has that early morning glow and sometimes it seems to be getting darker by the moment. My America is dreams piercing through horizons and some sinking under dark clouds it's gleaming for some and dim for others my america droughts and waterfalls my america is dreams fulfilled Deferred and sometimes all together null and void. My America is paving the way and making a way. It is bustling, thriving, and shimmering with hope. My America is seeking to understand. It is building futures and tearing down walls Like 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. My America is light and dark My America is vast as the emotions that run through the souls of the people And vast as skin tones too My America is ever growing changing, shimmering red, white, and blue, and with melanin mixed in too. My America is like, my America is like, my America
Maxine Reyes is a well-rounded, dynamic individual wearing many hats as mother, military, wife, author, speaker, and singer. She's an Army and Air Force veteran that spent 22 years in the military. Her family is stationed at MacDill Air Force Base and now calls Tampa Bay home. She remains active in the military community as a military spouse, key mentor volunteer, and instructor. This Jamaican-born, soul-centered leader has entertained a wide range of audiences nationally and internationally. Her unique blend derives from her Caribbean roots and her love for American vocal artists. Her range is from gospel to Christian music to R&B love songs. Today, she's going to share with you her original composition, Joy Unspeakable. I bring to you Maxine Reyes. Dr. Sybil Johnson is a professor, playwright, and poet who holds a PhD in theater at Florida State University. During her tenure at the university, she developed a course in the history of black theater, which became one of the most popular courses in the department. Over the past several years, Sybil has worked in the South Pacific, 
and was instrumental in creating a theater program at the American Samoa Community College. She also served as professor of theater arts at the University of South Pacific, Suva, Fiji. Dr. Lauren Johnson, accompanist for this performance, is a highly accomplished musician who has studied African percussion and has toured international. They'll be performing Numa, which is a Greek word that means spirit, the breath that sustains life. I bring you Dr. Sybil Johnson and Don Johnson with Numa. I am the essence of a whisper. The conduit of praise. The reason for a baby's first cry. Oh, the sweet mystery of a lover's sigh. The language of passion. The longing of hope deferred that slowly spoken that slowly spoken word often unheard eternal rhythm ebb and flow ebb and flow Creating, renewing, sustaining, regenerating the gasp of a, of a tired swimmer. of healing. I am breath. I am breath. The breath of life. This next gentleman, I have had the good fortune of knowing for most of his life. He is a phenomenal artist, a phenomenal educator, a dynamic human being. Don Lauren Johnson um, has traveled many places in the world, inspiring people's hearts, inspiring them spiritually, and sharing in his own unique way an artistry that brings people to a level of consciousness that is just phenomenal. Um, he is a He's a, he is a great man amongst men, and we are honored to have him be a part of this tapestry of creating beauty. Please sit back and enjoy Don Lauren Johnson's presentation of Is This Bliss? This, 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 this. Come down to you. This, 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 and all the things you do. This, 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 they all come down to you.
Thank you everyone for joining us on this journey tonight. I hope you've enjoyed every minute of it as much as we did getting to put all of this together. I also hope that once we're back live on the Riverwalk stage that you're all willing to come and join us in person and really experience the cultural beauty that is the Tampa Bay and all of the performing artists who support us through these efforts. We also hope that you like, comment, share all that you can with this video as well as the last one that we did. And thank you again and have a great night. <laughs>